Hello and welcome to the next video of the Tamil LaFerrari build. In this episode I'm going to be working on the interior and I've made a start on doing some of the prep work for the parts ready. So for starters I've done the dashboard which is made up of four pieces. So you've got the main part along the front there uh, which attaches to the top part of the dash and then you've got the two side pieces which attach which you're actually going to hold it onto the main chassis and then I've these are the kit parts for the pedals or part there's only one of them and what I've done is made up the photo etched part out of the hobby design set so you can see there's quite a few bends in there to get it to the right shape and it actually will sit if I can get that one to stand up at the same angle once it's attached so there's some extra pieces that want to go onto the front so like this piece here will go onto the front of that and then you've got some little rivet details in there at the bottom there and I don't know whether they show up here or not you've got these little parts that initially I thought would not actually etched out but they're actually there to represent the screws that hold the real part on which is quite a cool feature and then you've obviously got a couple more that, that are attached to these two as well um, this part's going to get painted black uh, but the actual pedals themselves are going to be supposed to be silver um, so I'm going to leave those unpainted to give it the real metallic look and then I've done this piece here so I've got the black piece which is the kit part and then obviously the photo edge part which is a couple of pieces put together so I'm not quite sure what it is but it sits down the side of the driver's seat so it's probably not even going to be seen but uh, it still adds a bit of detail and then the other bit that I've done is these were the paddles for the gear selector and I've cut those off because they're going to be replaced with this so if I just do a quick mock up of how it's going to sit so the bit that I cut those off I've actually glued into the steering wheel to make it a bit easier so that's going to sit like that so you can see there's a lot more realistic in scale so obviously I bent those to the shape that they need to be so they're ready for paint and then the last bit that I've done is uh, put these two pieces together for the clocks I actually jumped ahead slightly in the instructions because there is some parts on the door obviously interior parts which I thought I'll do as a patch and that piece is supposed to glue onto there according to the instructions and then later on you glue that to the door but being that this wants to be body colour save masking it all off and everything and painting it what I've actually done on this door and yet to do on the other is I've glued it in place ready so when you get the actual door panel you can see that it will fit there like that and it means that I can paint this as one not have to worry about masking it up or anything so uh, hopefully that will make life a bit easier and it's not going to cause any problems down the line so I will move over to painting and I'll see you in the spray booth shortly alright I've got everything attached to some lollipop sticks and cocktail sticks and various other things now ready for priming so as usual I'm going to start off with the Zero Paint Great Primer so I'll just turn the air booth on and I'll start spraying I'm not going to show all of these on the film because we've seen them all before, but let's uh, make a start. We're still going to have that stuff. Okay, I've got all the grey primer all done now. So, what I've actually done in the next step was to primer the the seats 
with white primer to go over them um, because I want to use some red on them to do the details and it will go down better over a white base rather than grey base so I'm just going to turn the spray booth back on and then we'll get to doing a bit more so what I'm going to do is check the check is where a bit more pressure on there um, where you get the real car is got some lines inside so I'm just going to go over all of the areas where you get the detail line and it's not a stitch line it's actually a different colour leather sewn into the seat so on this one I'm going to actually do the detail line in red and then the in black so I'm just going to go around all of the edges with red paint and then do the next bit and I'm going to do the same on the front of the dash as well. I've just done a bit of masking, sorry, white primer just on the front edge because it's hardly ever to on there. So again, I'm just going to go over it a few times just to build up the layers on that because the moment looks pink and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so following on from doing the red paint I've masked it all off and then I've done some carbon fibre decals up there and then I've masked those off with liquid mask. So now I'm moving on to the next bit. I've mixed two paints together. I've got Zero's rubber black and the racing white um, to give her sort of dark grey sort of colour. So that's what I'm going to paint the seats and the other interior pieces with. So I'll turn the extract fan on and then I'll get spraying. So test the paint flow and then I'll just start misting it on. I want to be a bit careful going over this masking tape. I don't want it to pull the paint off when I lift it. So I'm just going to go lightly over that. Masking tape started to lift, just needed to tuck it back in. Obviously, no point in masking it off and then only to find that it's lifted and it's gone under. You can start to see the colour there that we're going to have it. It's just to break up the monotony, so not everything's black. So, I've got a couple of trim pieces on the door panels to do. Masking all of this off is quite time consuming and then I'm just going to go over the top of the dash and the bottom. So again that's all masked off and there's a bit of liquid mask on there as well just to sorry, just to cover up some of the little details. And then the steering wheel is the last piece that I want to paint with this. So I'll get those layers built up and then I'll come back when I'm ready for assembly. Right, after getting all of those painted, I've unmasked where I painted the red previous. So you can see the stripes now and obviously where the 
harnesses would go for the seat belts I've put carbon fibre decals as well as on either side of the seats on both seats that's been done and the steering wheel has been detail painted and I've used one of the emblems out of here which is embossed it's I don't know if you can see in there that they're actually got a bit of a dome to it rather than just being like a flat decal so it just adds a little bit more to it rather than what you get in the in the decal set and then the dashboard has been finished off and detailed up as well and um, so there's a photo etch emblem just down there for the logo um, a bit of carbon fiber detail there with the buttons all painted in matte black and then I've bought some self adhesive flocking material from Hero Boy which I've applied to the top of the dash just to give it a bit more realism and I've done the same on the door sides just down here and up there and also on the interior where the elbow rest would be it's been applied there as well so I think it just it brings the details out and enhances it slightly so to start with I'm going to attach the steering column so I'll just get my tub of super glue and the pieces for this so as I think I showed you before I've put carbon fibre on the, the flappy paddles there just to again give it a bit of realism I'll get a better cocktail stick if it's got a bit of a point to it so you don't want don't need a lot of glue on here same again just to attach the actual steering wheel to this and just make sure that that's centralised for the paddles because it looked like they were slightly loose a minute ago so I'll leave that to one side for the glue to set a little bit before I attach that to the dash so the first bit I'm going to actually install are the pedals so these are all finished off now I've put the front pieces on now so what I did I painted it black as I said it was going to and then on the accelerator and the brake pedals I've then scraped the paint off of there because they're just machined aluminium there is no black in them on the real one and then this one I've left with the black behind it because again on my reference photos that's how it actually looks so I'm just going to put a bit of glue on the underside of both of these tabs get my tweezers and then they will just sit in there like that and then get to install the seats so I will be installing seat belts as well once I figure out the actual location of them I've not actually looked at that part yet but they attach up here somewhere and then they'll just run down there so again like I said I'll I'll sort those out once I've once I've looked at the reference photos. Okay, don't need loads of glue on these. They're not going to be going anywhere. So, right, what else have we got? In fact, before I put that one in, I need to have done the uh, the other little detail bits. I forgot. I've got that one, that one, and that one wants to go in. So I'll do this side piece first. It just 
sits on there. And there's a notch on the underside of it that lines up with a notch on there, so there's only one way that it can go. Like that, and then you've got this piece, which I showed you before, that was made out of photo etch to replace the kit part, and that just sits down the side. Just down the side of where the seat is, just down here. In fact, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the front of it as well. Again, you don't want you don't want loads on there. So that's just going to sit there like that. And then there's this piece here, which is the buttons for the centre console. stick my hands in the way that just goes in there like that just push it down make sure it's in properly right and now I'll install the seat for the second time and again there's notches under here that line up just inside here just in there so there's only one place that they can actually go so you feel when they when they're actually in and they sit down nicely so now to actually install the dashboard parts so I'm just going to put a bit more glue in there first piece I've got is the clocks, so just run a bit of glue on the underside of those. I'm not going to put any on the back, it actually has this carbon fibre bit sit on the cloth, but I'm not going to attach any glue on there because I don't want it to fog up on that flocking material, because it, it'll just look a mess if I do that. And then put a bit in there, if I don't knock the camera, and then install the steering wheel column. And I want to make sure this is straight. So, sorry for taking it off camera while I just straighten it out. Obviously, if the steering wheel's wonky, it's just going to look wrong in the car. So then, there's a couple of attachment points here and here. I'll just put a bit of glue on. And then, it just sits in the centre there. I'll put a bit of glue on that. And then, it slides in, so... If you can see that, if I get it in shot, so that one goes in there, that one goes in there, and then that's the centre console and the dashboard done. So, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. So, I'll see you in the next one.